if you're a man, nobody gives a fuck about you. So you know what you're gonna have to do? You're gonna have to give a fuck about yourself. Cause yeah, sure, the world might not give a fuck about you. People could treat you badly. People could treat you horribly. Blah, 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 blah. But all these things are experiences that we are allowing to confirm to us who we already believe we are on the inside. Just because we have a few negative experiences in life, you don't have to allow that to validate the negative self-talk, the negativity that is going on on the inside. Because if you let it validate, you're only reinforcing that narrative that says that yeah, I'm nobody, that yeah, I'm shit, yeah, my life is garbage, all that stuff, right? And, and all of us as men, like for the, for the most part, if you're a man, your life's probably not shit. You're probably just garbage in society, whatever like that, right? But what is the point? The point is, you're treating yourself like you're somebody who's not shit. So obviously the world around you is gonna is gonna experience you or look at you as somebody that's not shit. Because you may look at the things, or I might used to look at the things that, as far as thoughts and feelings, as far as habits, as far as behaviors, right? As far as, uh, you know, my own personal psychology, my own personal psyche, you know, your own body language and stuff. You need to understand that all these things stem from the mind in the first place. So if you're talking like somebody who's needy, if you're talking like, you know, you need other people's help, uh, and, and there's nothing wrong with that and things like that, right? But you gotta be you gotta first be able to help yourself. You gotta be first be able to help yourself by going within and questioning those thoughts, questioning those feelings, because they don't have to be there. A lot of people experience rejection when they're going about uh, their life, but they don't let that rejection get them down, right? But if you let that rejection, that negative experience validate what you've already believed on the inside, you need to understand that it wasn't because an external person, place, or thing told you you're not shit, it's because you're already vibrating, your mind is already on that plane of existence, you're already on that train of thought, so when that situation uh, come down into reality, it's just confirming to you what you already believe about yourself, right? So you're gonna have to believe something new about yourself, and this is the magic in this, because it's all just belief. It's all just based on your own beliefs. So if you have a belief system that says that I'm nobody, that I can't do this, that I can't get that, that I'm not capable, then you're gonna manifest situations where you're not capable, where you're nobody, because you have to understand that your mind is literally filtering out in the information in your reality. So if you're calling yourself a, a nobody, a, a, you know, it's a, a, a nobody or whatever, you gotta understand that the situations you're experiencing, because you believe that inside of you, it's only validating that what you feel inside of you, what you already experience inside of you. But if you actually create a new belief, you're gonna, to, you're gonna see that your reality is aligning with that belief, right? So, men are not shit only if men believe they are not shit. Because you have to understand that it's not based upon the car you drive, it's not based upon how much money you got on your bank account, it's not based upon how many bitches you fucked yesterday. Your confidence is not based on based on those things. It's not. It should not be based on the, on, on the reality that's presented in front of you. Because reality could present you like a, with like a false flag and stuff like that, right? Like what happens if you're dating, you're dating the baddest chick, you're dating Nicki Minaj, you're dating whatever, what society considers to be the baddest chick. Your, your level of confidence is gonna go zoot to the roof. But what happens if that girl leaves you? What happens if Nicki Minaj leaves you? Your confidence goes zoot all the way down. You know why? Because your confidence was based on external factors. Your confidence should be based on internal factors that say, regardless of the external situation, that yes, you are the shit. So you need to understand that we as men may develop negative beliefs about ourselves just based on the way we get treated from the world and stuff like that, especially at a younger age or maybe, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to get. But you need to understand that you're not supposed to go get nothing. You're supposed to already have something. Just by merely having the belief of confidence, that alone will transform your life. Because the place that you're gonna be speaking from, the way you're gonna walk, the way you're, the way you're gonna talk, oh, I promise you, from a distance, people will know that you're the shit. Because it's just the way you carry yourself. But that's why I need you to understand that you have a subconscious, hidden belief that you're expressing unknowingly based on previous experiences which your mind is, is using as reference points to experience reality. So to create a new reality, you don't go outside of you and deal with the people, places, and things. You simply go inside of you first and you deal with the thoughts and feelings. You deal with the beliefs that tell you that, hey, I'm not nobody. You know, that's, that, that's a narrative. 
That's a story you've chosen to tell yourself, but you have the power to tell yourself a new story. So I need you to tell yourself that new story instead of that old story. Because if you keep telling yourself that old story, you will be a man who's not shit. I know you don't want to be a man who's not shit because you clicked on this video, obviously. So we need to start developing new beliefs that actually empower us to do things that we that we could be afraid of but regardless of the fear we do it anyways because that's what it means to be a firefighter and that's what it means to be a man is to go forward despite the fear despite the not knowing that despite the not being sure because these experiences is what's helping you build yourself up you can be you, you can be the most loser of losers and you can be the most winner of winners and all it is is just a belief a change in beliefs. Even the people that run the world, even people that run fucking real estate around the world, they have moments where their beliefs will destroy them. But they have to keep themselves at a particular mindset to do the things that they do. All high level salespeople or high level entrepreneurs, all those people have to do the same thing that you're doing and it's changing and monitoring and creating new beliefs that actually allow us to go forward with the reality that we want to experience. Because if you wasn't born in that environment and you're trying to create that environment for yourself where you're actually having fun, where you're entertaining the new ideas that you wanna entertain, you need to understand that if that environment wasn't there for you when you was younger, if that support wasn't there for you, you gotta understand that you're basing your reality based on that I childhood identity. So there's an inner child in you that didn't get no love, that didn't get no support. But I need you to understand that as a man, no one is coming to help you. No one is coming to save you. You need to save yourself and you need to do this for yourself. Because if you don't do it, then you're just going to the bottom of society. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that either. You just got to ask yourself, what do I want personally? Because look, God, God's not going to judge you. Humans in the man in the man-made world, yeah, they're going to judge you. They're going to look at your the car you're driving, the house you have, blah, blah, and they're going to judge you. You need to understand, in God's eyes, as long as you actually love yourself, God doesn't care about any, all these physical things, right? But if you're a man that actually wants to create something in society, you know, you're going to have to increase your value. And you're going to have to talk to yourself in a positive way rather than a fucking negative way. Because if you talking, keep talking to yourself negatively, you're going to keep experiencing that same old reality that you claim you want to get out of real shit.